Here's a behind the scenes look for you. This is my blank canvas, just unwrapped. And I wanted to show how I, for want of a better word, how I christen the canvas. There's always this worry, and it was for me when I first started going bigger, that this was massive compared to the smaller pieces of A4 paper that I'd been working on. Um, and a friend of mine had said, just make a mark, any mark. And that was still quite hard. Um, and now I can't understand why it was so hard, but it is when you first go bigger. And to make your mark first, you could just maybe do it by um, using hand marks just so you can feel the canvas or you would um, use pencil marks or just put water on it so that you're not doing the painting straight onto the canvas. But because I'm an energy artist and I do purposefully place energy within the canvas when I'm working, I thought I'd show you why I, I, how I work differently to maybe other people. So I'm going to use Palo Santo. And this is a, um, it's, a piece of, it's a piece of wood. Yes, it's a twig. For those of you who are looking, it's a twig. It's a special tree. I can't remember where it comes from. Um, but this makes a very good smudging um, alternative to smudging the sage. And it also means that once you have, I don't know if you can see, once you've used it, you've got a charcoal that you can use on canvas or paper. So I'm going to burn. Obviously, you don't put a burning piece of Palo Santo onto your canvas because you make a hole in it and that's very expensive. I'm just gonna let that gather momentum. <laughs> And like with any incense or sage, you would let it burn slightly and then you would blow. It's very different doing it for the camera than I would do it if I was in more of a, if I call it a sacred space, I don't want to put people off, but I am an energy worker. I'm a therapist. I do work with massage, etc. So the space that I work in is very important to how the painting develops. I need to be in the right space for that. So if I was working without showing you guys, um, I would probably have my headphones on, I'd have some vibrational music on, I'd have probably done some yoga first, I definitely would be moving my body more, and then I would breathe, take a breath in, and I would hold that breath, and I would breathe out, and I'd create that. Now that has been uh, christened then, but have a look at what happens if I add water. And then I use a spreader. It's just um, a silicon tipped. It just acts like charcoal. I don't know if you can see there with the lines being made. And then I step away and I settle and I wait and I begin. I will probably turn and I'll 
begin in a different orientation to how I had used the pound santo. But that's just one way of doing it. Um, I have done it by just putting water on, energy in. Any, any of you are Reiki students of mine, you'll know um, that some of these might be Reiki symbols that I've put into the book. Lots of different ways you can do it, but that's the essence behind the work that I do. Even if I'm working on a piece of paper, I do that first. So there you go. Background of how the base of the canvas um, starts. Thanks for watching.